In this tutorial in Microsoft Expression Web, I'd like to show you how easy it is to create a hyperlink using the design view. You can create one in code view if you want, but that's a little daunting at first, so we'll just try one in design view here. I have a website with two simple pages on it. One says Parade, and the other is my home page, which is called Default, the title of which is a fun web page. And then I have a folder with several pictures in it. So I'm going to go back up in my file folder system in the upper right to my main, uh, my main folder. And we're going to edit the default uh, uh, HTML page. I'll double click on it. This is a lesson we worked on before. So what I want to do now, I, I want if the user to come to this page, click on the word parade, which will take them to the page called parade on my website. How do I do that? Well, all I need to do is take the left mouse button, drag over the word parade. With it highlighted, I right click and then I choose hyperlink. I can also choose the hyperlink icon up here as well, same thing, but I like the right click, it's really close and easy. So we'll click on hyperlink and that will bring a pop-up screen that asks me how I want to do my hyperlink. The default is an existing file or web page. The default is my current folder. That's just where I want to go. So I want to connect to the parade um, uh, HTML file. So I'll click here and I'll click on OK. We're going to ignore all the rest of the parameters for now. So now it turns to blue and underlined. Now we can change the default of what a hyperlink looks like, but the default is if something is hyperlinked as text, it will be blue font underlined. But when I hover over it, notice it says use control plus click to follow the hyperlink. So I'm going to hold the control key down and my mouse changes to a pointing finger. And then I click on that and instantly, indeed, it moved to my parade page. So I know my hyperlink works within my own website. You can also hyperlink, not simply on a word or a sentence, whatever you want to drag, you can hyperlink on an object. Here we'll hyperlink on this picture. I'll click on the picture. I'm going to move down so we see the drop down correctly. Right click and then click on hyperlink. I'm going to hyperlink that picture to the same location. And so all I need to do is existing page, current folder, yes, yes. Uh, we're going to hyperlink to parade HTML. That's the address and simply click on OK. And so now if I hover the mouse over the picture in my design view, I get the same message, use control and then click to follow the hyperlink. I'll hold the control key down, it turns to a hand, I click on it and it should open the parade page. So it's nice to know I, I've been able to use both items, we'll close it right now, uh, to hyperlink to the same location. Um, so that's how easy it is in Microsoft Expression Web to insert a hyperlink. And if we go back to the split view where I have code on top, we have all this stuff that is put on here in terms of the location. It's a uh, href equal parade.html. And then we've got the same thing up here in front of the word parade. Um, but instead of typing all that in, all you had to do was right click and choose hyperlink. Now, if I want to remove a hyperlink, say I want people to click on the picture, but not on the word anymore. I right click on it and I can go back to hyperlink properties. Uh, it will open up my hyperlink uh, adjustment box. And instead, all I need to click on is the button just above the lower right that says Remove Link. And it took it away. Now I can click on the word Parade all I want, and it will not take me to that location. So I'm going to save this right now. 
but that's as easy as it is to create a hyperlink in your own document. Now, what if I want to create a hyperlink somewhere else? Well, I'm going to click over here and press enter and we'll say, let's go, go to the Sharper Turtle website. And so if I want to go there, I can click on this, drag across that if that's what I want the clickable area to be, right click, and then I'll click on hyperlink. And I'll have a familiar web box. Now this gives me an example of uh, where I can go. I'm not going to go to an existing file. Uh, I could go to a page I've browsed on, or I can go to an address. And in this particular case, uh, we're going to go to an address, and it's www.sharperturtle. You know, so add the HTTP. Uh, com. And then I'll click on OK. And now it will tie to that. Let's see if it works. I'm going to hold the control key down and click on this and see if it opens. Now it opened my Sharper Turtle website. And so we're, we're good to go there. Uh, the best way to test it, obviously, would be to save it. And uh, we'll have a lesson on, on how to preview online, but if I click on File, Preview in Browser, it will notice all the browsers that you have loaded on your system. We'll use Firefox for now. And there is my home page. And we'll click here. It should take me to the parade page. It did. I will click on the Sharper Turtle website, and it took me to the Sharper Turtle homepage. So that's how easy it is to uh, make hyperlinks in your system. There's also a way to check to see that your hyperlinks are still good. We'll get to that in another lesson. But it's very easy to add and remove simple hyperlinks using ExpressionWeb.